are some of the luxury items I have been purchasing recently. A few of them I picked up in the Black Friday sales and we're going to be unboxing everything together in this video. Hello and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Steph. Now, it is currently freezing here in the UK. I have my trusty mini hot water bottle, which goes with me everywhere. It is snowing outside, so I thought it would be fun to just get cozy today. All of my orders have now arrived that I've been ordering throughout the past few weeks, and I thought it would be great to show you what I have been purchasing. Okay, so do you know what? I'm going to start with a piece from Karen Millen. I will link to everything down below so that you can shop this video super easily as well. Now, when I saw this, I was kind of like, mm, it is giving me, with the right outfit, Alexander McQueen vibes. This is the outfit I had in mind. This is just a Zara bodysuit with some Zara trousers. And I'm gonna throw this over the top just to add a little something to this very simple look. Well, the beads on this, like a gunmetal gray kind of color. Oh, I've put it on back to front, but I actually quite like it back to front. Gives you more of a v-neck okay let me put it on the correct way around but this is what it looks like if you wear it back to front the right way around this time and i'd say the beads are like kind of a good metal silver but it's also got like a weird bronzy color to it so it kind of looks slightly gold as well and just a simple blazer over the top oh my gosh look at this so you kind of wear it like as a cape style jacket but let's put it on properly do you see what i mean with the mcqueen vibes and this is the complete look what do we think do you like it um just a reference i ordered this in a caramel and uk size eight and i think just to add that extra little something to an outfit this is a winner, I think. And I am getting McQueen vibes. I'm still getting McQueen vibes, so that is great. Now, speaking of glitz and glamour and adding something to an outfit, I know the exact pieces that we need to unbox next. And they are some stunning jewelry pieces from none other than Idil. Idil are the sponsors of this part of today's video. And if you haven't heard of this brand yet, you need to check them out. I have been working with Idil for about two years now. I have so many absolutely stunning jewelry pieces that I would describe as just staples. They use solid gold in their pieces. They use sustainable lab grown diamonds. And some of the items inside of this box have been on my wish list for the longest time. So let's take a look. Please can we take a second to appreciate this absolutely stunning packaging. Perfect for a gift. Oh, we have some free gifts here. This is like a leather bound notebook. This is gonna be perfect for 2024. And here we have something else, something special from Adil. I think I know what this is. It is going to be a jewelry case, isn't it? And I have been wanting one for the longest time. I cannot wait to put my pieces in here. So now let's take a look at some of the new pieces that I have got before we try them on. So this is part of their new bracelet. This is their set, which is Glow and Force. Look how stunning these are. And then in here, we have the Grace necklace. This is the one that's been on my wish list for so long and the Kaya earring attachment. Honestly, these cute little holiday gifts and I have been wanting a jewelry case for the longest time now. So now I can really display my pieces and they just look so gorgeous. Okay, let's put these on. So I already have my beautiful Lena necklace on here, which is like a row of diamonds. And I put this on the longest extender of the chain because I like to stack these pieces up and here is the gray so I put this on the tightest setting so you can then double up and stack your Idil pieces up. One of the things about Idil jewelry is they're actually modular so you can mix and match them so when you get a gold chain for example you can then change so this comes off you can take the grace off and you can change them out. So you can buy all the different styles of diamonds and you only need ever like one or two chains. And it's the same with the earrings as well. So the Kaya earring here, let's put this one on. So you decide on which stud you would like. And then as you can see, you can take things off. So you could just wear this as a stud, like a diamond stud by itself. And then you just attach them to the stud all the different versions. Here it is, the Kaya with my power cuff, which I wear all the time, I'm obsessed. Like this look. Now the Kaya earring actually has over half a carat of diamonds in there. And again, it's modular, so you can mix and match with different styles. You just get your base, which is the stud, and then you add different attachments to them. And now for the bracelets, force and glow diamond set here. They have loads of different sets, by the way, of the bracelets. And I really like this feature. So you can actually attach them together. They come with a ring when you order them as a set like this. And here they are. Look at this set, it is so, so beautiful. 
all the diamonds. Again, these are 14 karat solid gold with the lab grown diamonds. So this means if you are going in the shower or you're out and about, it doesn't matter. You can keep wearing your pieces. So it's not like a plated brass where the gold is going to come off. And they do do a lot of these styles in white gold and also rose gold as well. Personally, I just love yellow gold of diamonds. Like I just think they look absolutely amazing. Now I do also have a discount code and it is Handsbagholic10. This is going to get you 10% off the entire range. And if you're ordering before Christmas, you might get a few free goodies. They aren't guaranteed, but you might get one in your order if you do. And they are a great way to treat yourself or someone else. So the next item we are going to unbox together. Can you guess the bag, the Aspinall bag? We have something from Matches here. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. And it is this piece here. So this is from 24s.com, which is owned by LVMH. Love the packaging. And this is a coat that I got from House of Dagmar, which is a brand that only just came on my radar. Thanks to LTK, I was browsing. I saw this coat and I just had to order it. Let's take a look. Honestly, this is so soft. The House of Dagmar coat. I've kept the base layers super simple again with the Zara bodysuit and trousers just so you can see. There is a lot of give here, which is great because if you want to layer up with a big jumper, it's you've still got loads of space in here. So this is it for length. Again, I'm five foot six for reference. I am wearing heels right now, so a little bit taller than usual. Feels really nice and lightweight, but it feels warm at the same time. Now it could do this up, show you what this looks like. And then I guess this does not come with any kind of wrap belt. It is just meant to be oversized like this. I guess you could add a belt to it if you really wanted to. Do we love the House of Dagmar coat? I know that I do. It's gonna be one that I'm keeping because I don't have a coat of this color. And yeah, I just love it. It's so soft. Okay, now let's move on. This is from matches.com. Now this wasn't in the sale as such, but they were running a 30% off selected items and this was one of them. So this is actually from the Frankie shop, which is a brand I'm falling in love with more and more. And it is a coat. It's very heavy and huge. And this coat, I would say, has maybe been inspired by the houndstooth long coat from Saint Laurent. Now the houndstooth, it does come in different colors as well, but it's this very dramatically long coat with oversized shoulders. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, this looks very similar, but it's a fraction of the price in comparison to the Saint Laurent version. So let's try it on. Wow, okay, this is quite heavy. And check out, it has got these like shoulder pads, like proper shoulder pads in here. This is the size small in the gray. This also comes in like a caramel color and a black. I've got so many black coats now. And this shade of gray, I actually don't have any coats. So, oh my gosh, yeah, the shoulders are really boxy. Like they sit out quite far with those shoulder pads. I guess you could take them out if you really wanted to, but this is meant to be the look of the coat. It feels so soft. Let me just show you, oh my gosh, how long this coat is. I am wearing my heels still and it is basically hitting the floor. So I'm definitely getting a lot of Saint Laurent vibes from this. This is what it looks like with the buttons done up, but I feel like this just takes out so much shape. So then I definitely would use the waist tie here to kind of give my body a little bit of silhouette back. Do we love the Nicola coat? I don't know if it's a little bit too dramatic for me, but I kind of love it at the same time. I really like that as well, you could wear basically anything underneath. You could be wearing your pajamas underneath this coat and no one would know it is that long. It definitely is a case of the coat is the entire outfit. Now let's move on to bags. So I picked this one up in the sale at Selfridges. Now I actually already have this bag and I should have ordered it in the color that I knew that I wanted, which is the color that is in this box. But I ordered this one. This was in sale in I believe about May or June this year, 2023. And it is the beautiful trunk bag. And this is the, I think it's Chalk Hill Blue, which is kind of like a tealy color, which I do really love but I do find colors like this hard to style. So I knew that I actually really wanted the black version of this bag and it sold out completely on the Aspinall of London website. And I then had to go on Selfridges. They only had one left. So let's open it up and see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. This is what should have been. Oh, this is gorgeous, isn't it? The black trunk bag this time. 
and this was in sale. I believe it was about 20% off. So these retail at about 500 pounds. I think I paid about 400 for this from Selfridges, but this is going to be a very timeless piece on the front here in gold. And there's been quite a few occasions over the last few months that I've thought, oh, if I had the black version of this bag, I would have used it by now. So I think I might have to sell this one and accept that I'm just not going to get a whole lot of use out of it and just keep the black one. So just so you can see the difference. And out of like the trunk bags that are available on the market right now, obviously Louis Vuitton are known a lot for their trunk bag, but they do cost thousands of pounds. And I'll be honest with you, I actually prefer the look of the Aspinall of London ones. And these again are a quarter, if not a fifth, if not a sixth of the price of the Louis Vuitton version. So if you are looking for a trunk bag, I think you can't go wrong with Aspinall. Let's try it on and I'll quickly show you what fits inside. So to give you an idea of what fits inside, you open the bag, pressing that together, that flips up, it's very easy. And then the inside of the bag is lined with this absolutely sensational red. Here is my iPhone, this is not the plus size, but it is the Pro and that fits in there quite easily. I then have my Saint Laurent card holder. Let's place that in there, but we do have a zip compartment on here so you could actually put your cards in that zip compartment. A set of keys, a few small makeup pieces. I'm going to actually put them in this part of the bag so that they stay safe and together. So there we have phone, card holder, keys, and some makeup bits in the back of the bag. And it is struggling to close there. I think this is going to be one of those bags that you kind of have to jiggle things around so that they don't lay flat next to each other, a little bit flatter, and I can get the bag closed. How amazing does this look? As in just like a super simple outfit, House of Dagmar, the Aspinall of London. This is just like a grab and go kind of outfit, but it looks really chic at the same time. I feel like this is like a perfect Pinterest Instagram outfit. Now we have our new Aspinall bag. I will leave that there. Really great service from Selfridges. Like they do next day delivery. I pay for their, they have like a premier option. So you pay 10 pounds for the year, I believe it is. I think it's more if you live outside of the UK, but not too much more. And then you get like next day delivery for the entire year. So I think that's a really great deal. And finally, we have a new bag from Demelia. We have absolutely beautiful packaging. Demelia is a brand that I absolutely love. I think their quality is great. This is one of the more affordable contemporary luxury brands that I'm obsessed with right now and as soon as I saw that this bag came in this size I just knew I just knew so here we go let's open this so adorable it is so adorable so this is the Vancouver bag my favorite bag from uh, Demelia and they have now brought it out in a new small size so it's like a mini size and I got the black mock croc with the gold hardware so it does have a shoulder slash crossbody strap which you can adjust again i'll show you what fits inside really quickly in a second but if you are debating the vancouver bag and you're not sure which size to go for i do have the original size which is the larger size and this is the new small or mini size if you will just for comparison of what these look like and I would say that I would go for the bigger size as a day bag, like you can get all your everyday essentials in here. But for an evening bag, I would definitely go for this size. I just think it's a little bit cuter, obviously because it's quite a lot smaller, it weighs a lot less as well. So we don't have this extra piece of like leather, which is another flap on the big one, on the smaller one. It's just one big compartment. So I'll quickly show you what fits inside the mini one and let's try it on. So to open this bag, you push this here, which releases the lock. We do still have the plastic on the lock because this hardware does scratch. Look how beautiful this mock croc is. The layout of the bag, we have the zipper compartment on the back and then it is just one big compartment. First, let's start with my phone. Uh, mine is not the plus size, but if you had the plus size, it would very easily fit inside of here. My YSL card holder, the zippy version. Place that in there, although I would possibly put my cards just in the zipper compartment to save space. A set of keys, a few makeup pieces like powder and lipstick and as you can see there is still a little bit more space left in there um, but that will close perfectly fine. And the small Vancouver just to demonstrate that you can so more of an evening look that I've gotten with the caramel and top and the blazer, the trousers and the heels you can dress this bag up and I don't think it looks out of place actually because this is smaller I think it works better 
than the larger size as looking more like an evening bag. Let me know what you have liked the look of in this haul today and also what you've been buying recently. Did you pick anything up in the Black Friday sales? I would absolutely love to know. Thank you so much again to Adil for sponsoring this video. The diamonds are absolutely in incredible and again my discount code for 10% off is handsbagholic10. Go treat yourself or loved ones but make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next I'll have my latest video release here for you and over here seven luxury items that I would not buy again and why. Enjoy.